Hi, I'm Gordon Young with Maximum PC, and I'm here with Nick Pino from Tech Radar. And in celebration of Microsoft's amazing news that they've allegedly sold out of Surface 3 units in stores across the world, we've actually put together a video, collected all the surfaces we have to tell you about what we think is going to be in Surface 4. What I love about this news, Gordon, is back in the day when Surface 1 was out, they couldn't give these things away. The Surface, so they divided it up. Surface RT, which could only download from the store, which I'll tell you, that store is empty. Yeah, it's not even a store. I mean, you have to have things for sale in the store to call it <laughs> a store, which is why it's kind of a failure. It is the goodwill of stores. Yes, yes. Now, you and I had kind of talked earlier about what we really like about the Surface 3. We're talking about the high-resolution screen. Right. We're talking about how slim it is. Um, what is your ideal Surface 4? Well, I, I, I can tell you what I, I'm almost certain will be in Surface 4, and then there's sort of everybody's fantasy version okay. of what's going to be in Surface 4. I honestly, uh, I, I can tell you it's going to be Core M. I mean, this is conservative guess. It'll be Core M. It'll be same basic specs. It'll be essentially what they did from Surface 1 to Surface 2, which was change the CPU, maybe improve the kickstand, maybe fix this kind of pathetic little pen holder that they have. Let's talk about the pen for a second, because yeah. this pen, what do you think? Do you like it more than the original pen? You know, it's hard to say. I mean, of course, the original pen had a Wacom digitizer, which made it thicker. I don't know if you can tell from this video, but this son of a, uh, can I say that? Yeah. This son of a bitch is thick, right? Look at this thing. It's fat, like an original iPad almost, right? Mm -hmm. This is made by Apple, so it's awesome. <laughs> this one actually goes to an Israeli-made Entrig digitizer. What they were able to do with this digitizer, even though it doesn't have the same pressure levels as the original, is it's thinner. They took a layer out of the surface, and now it is super thin. I don't to. think they're able to make it thinner than it currently is. Would you, say, would you think that's true? Right. I mean, this is about 9.1 millimeters thick. So I don't think they're going to be able to make it that much thinner. It might be 8 millimeters thick. I don't really think the intention is to make it that much thicker. I mean, thinner isn't always best. I mean, if you made this thinner, you might bend it. Oh, but sick burn. So sick burn. Angle. I don't know if that's really the point. I mean, would be cool is they actually made the screen even higher res. This is a, a twenty-one by 14, 1400 p screen. Right. Super high res for a Surface compared to the original ten eighty p screen. And I, I, I think the fantasy uh, Surface Four would have a four K panel packed into this display. I mean, certainly. The Intel processor has enough power to drive a 4K. An Intel Core M. The Core M will have certainly uh, enough power to drive a 4K display. Okay. You're not going to play games at 4K, but right. it'll work perfectly fine. And people seem to like super high resolution screens these days mm -hmm. in their devices. Do you think the creative types will now be able to use this for things like Photoshop? Do you think they'll be able to do video editing on this, on, on the fantasy 4K? Or on the, on the Fantasy Surface Yeah, so 4. the Fantasy Surface would be really, and of course, I don't believe this, this is everybody's fantasy, but you could really take your Surface 4, it'll be a little bit thinner, you'll be able to edit videos, I mean like really video editing. You can actually do a lot of that now on Surface 3, it has the power to do some light duty video editing, mm -hmm. certainly plenty to do medium amounts of photo editing, but for real photo editing, you need more power, so maybe... Uh, the Fantasy would be a quad-core processor in here. It'll most likely be a dual-core, though. But the Fantasy would be a, a quad-core with hyper-threading. Probably not going to happen, but that would be awesome if they did. An improved camera. Uh, maybe even LEDs. This one doesn't have LEDs. So that you can do this at your kid's graduation. Right? I love that. You can love be that guy. Folks. Yeah. Um, tell me, what are we looking at on the operating system? What, what's your dream OS for this? Right, so... It's no secret, they're talking about Windows 9 already, Windows 8, let's face it, made a lot of people angry. I personally don't have problems with it anymore, it's actually a great OS. You've made up with mode. it, yeah, you've made I up with it. I have made up with it, originally it used to, my doctor told me to stop using it, I actually have a note from my doctor that said stop using Windows 8 because it's making your blood pressure go too high. I have since taken medication and I've decided if I stay out of Metro, it, it doesn't make me that angry anymore. I'll tell, you, I'll tell you what I think is interesting. On my home desktop, I use Windows 7, but on my Surface, I like to use Windows 8. Um, that's the only thing that I think goes on. But do you, actually use, do you actually use it in Metro mode? I mean, you prefer using? I prefer using it in Metro mode, wow. as I'm one of the few, one of the few and far between people that actually like to use my, well, not fat fingers, but 
slim fingers to move around the interface. I think it's slick. I think it works. Um, mm. Do you think the, I mean, of course, Windows 9, one of the things that they're going to do is move to uh, probably merging Windows, the uh, Metro, with the desktop interface. They obviously pissed everybody off with Metro. So the screenshots I've seen that are leaked show uh, Windows 8 sort of merged into a, a start menu. And then this other weird thing where you can use your, your Metro apps, which, which is the mode we're in right now, you'll be able to use your Metro uh, apps on the desktop. Is that really something you think, I mean, as an actual, you're actually the only person I think I've ever met that actually likes Metro. Are you actually gonna use Metro on your desktop or is that just something that doesn't make any sense? So it doesn't make sense. <laughs> the, the hybrid doesn't really make sense there. Um, what I like is pulling out into the home screen. I'm given all this, this nice overlay of my computer. I see things, you know, I'm easily enthralled by things like the weather app and cooking and health. These kind of apps, I mean, that, that's what Apple's doing now. We have things like HealthKit. These kind of things enthrall me as a user. I want to go in every day and check my news feed. I go into uh, the, the little news charm uh, because I find that incredibly useful. But you only do that on your, let's admit it, we're going we're gonna to tell the truth. I use a Surface Pro. Nick also uses a Surface Pro at home. Right. So, and we obviously have a gigantic pool of devices we can choose from, but I actually prefer to use the Surface over those other devices. Absolutely. And you, you, and you really do like to use the, the Metro interface. Interesting. As crazy as that may sound. Um, now, what Microsoft could do with the Surface 4, what they really, truly need to do is populate that store if I'm going to be pulling, if I'm going to be pulling charms, um, that store needs major attention. Now, of course, they're able to get an app like Spotify and from the desktop create a charm from it, and I like that ability. Um, but why I think Apple has found major success is they've made it easy to go into the store, find an app that you need, and put it onto your onto your homepage. Yeah, I. Although I'm not really sure how much Microsoft can remedy the, the lack of, of quality Metro apps. I mean... Okay, do you think they can pull developers? How, how can my... I guess let's rephrase it. How can Microsoft pull developers? I think... I mean, the incentive is... One of the incentives is they have to say, hey, you can, we'll let you sell your apps and we're not going to charge as much. We know, I think publicly Apple and Google both take about 30% of what the developers get when someone actually pays for an app in their store. Maybe Microsoft says, hey, we're only going to take 10% cut. I mean, they basically have to slash prices. And I don't really know what they're publicly charging right now, but I don't imagine it's that cheap because I, I think there's elements within Microsoft that still think Metro and the Microsoft Store have not been a failure. So, mm. But from all the data I've seen and all the people I've talked to, it has among Windows users, it has been a, a dismal failure, the store itself. When do you think is the earliest we could see the Surface 4? When is the absolute earliest Surface 4 would come to market? I think if you saw a, a basic refresh, which is Surface 3 with Core M, but, you know, better processor, you could actually see that as soon as this Christmas. Really, there's, the engineering it would take to make Surface 3 into Core M based unit gives you more power, less heat, um, better battery life. They could have it on shelves by the holidays. That would be really interesting. You know, they're riding this train right now of success with the Surface 3, which, again, is unfathomable given where we've come from. Um, I do speculate that they have hardware teams working on this design right now. As, I mean, especially with that Intel Core M. Right, and I, I think at this point they are gonna do one more version, but I will say, you know, there's probably a lot of speculation in the industry, and I talk to a lot of OEMs that Microsoft, they may make one more and then this, this may be it. Right, so this, they may give up on Surface after this. Surface Pro, and I'm talking about Surface Pro. We could even right. talk about Surface RT, uh, Surface 2. Uh, I think that's pretty much dead in the water. I, I doubt we'll ever see another uh, ARM-based Surface. RT, RT was a complete failure. Um, there, there was almost nothing redeeming about RT. It had the lower price point, but what, what did you exactly get? You, I feel like you just didn't get anything. Right. I. I you got Office. I mean, that was probably the one thing that made RT like it's kind of a deal, especially when you got it for three hundred dollars. Hey, you get almost a full copy of Office. It is limited. It wasn't really truly a full copy of Office because right. you know ARM really doesn't have that much power compared to x86. But other than that, they're really, I mean, and then the 
what of course really killed it was $400 for Surface RT and you can't run Windows apps, which everybody wants to run traditional desktop Windows apps that they already have and that they already own. Why can't I run them? And they, they did not understand that. Well, that's just so frustrating when your friends are telling you about a great new uh, like music streaming app and then you go on to the, the store and you can't find it because it doesn't exist. It just made no sense to me. Well, you know, that actually brings up one of the other issues I think Microsoft fundamentally has is it's clear that Microsoft and Google are in a war, a huge shooting war right now, mm -hmm. bigger than Apple and Google have ever been in. Google, one of the issues that I have with the Metro store, um, uh, the Microsoft store on, on Surface is there's no Google support, right? For the most part, everybody sophisticated uses Google's ecosystem. They use Gmail, they use YouTube, they use right. Maps. There's no official apps. There's sort of this half-baked Google uh, app that's in the store. It doesn't really give you the cool functionality that you would get on an Android or even an iOS-based unit. Well, the, it's, it's kind of the Wild West. You're exactly right. Uh, it's, there's no like Google certified apps for Gmail. You're downloading right. like Steve's Steve's Google app. Right, Steve's Google app. I mean, like, you don't <laughs> trust it. You, and of course, you, why don't they have that? Of course, Google's official response ought to be like, well, I mean, nobody uses Metro for God's sake, except yeah. for that Nick guy down at Tech Radar. We're not going to school the team just for Nick. But you know, the fa fact is, Metro is kind of useless without actually having access to Google's e ecosystem. Okay. Right. Yeah, I mean, it makes sense. I, 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 the, the Yahoo app, which actually is on Metro, I can't tell the difference between that and the Android version. They're virtually the same. Okay. So, I mean, would you really care? You really don't care what the app is running on. Right. Um, but if there's no Google and it's not official, you're going to have issues with that. Sure, and it makes sense. I think it just shows you how much of a problem Google and Microsoft have right now is Google supports iOS, right? Their vaunted enemy, Apple, who... They've been in a they've been in a war for a long time, but now you know Google's like, hey, no problem. We'll give you maps. We'll give you mail, mm -hmm. but they're not doing it to Microsoft because you know they obviously don't like each other. So I think, yeah, what we've talked about already is Microsoft really needs to hit home that store a little bit more. If they could get in a 4K screen, I don't know if that's entirely likely, but it would be great. I love my Surface for media. I love watching Netflix on it. You crawl into bed at night, you turn on some Netflix. Um, I love putting movies on there when I'm taking flights anywhere. I bring my Surface. I've got music and movies. I don't use this for gaming. Do you think Surface 4 could be a gaming machine? Is there any chance of this happening? Uh, you know, you can actually play I, how I would define casual games on Surface okay. 4. Fine. I mean, this is, the, the, of course, everybody talks about how great, you know, X tablet is or whatever, but I mean, mm -hmm. uh, the Haswell processor in this is faster than probably everything that's on the market, on the, on the, on the ARM side, in What's graphics. That? And yeah. then Core M takes it up another notch. So I think I saw some benchmarks, and basically Core M is faster than everything available on ARM already. So, What's really interesting is some game developers are actually implementing like a touch mode. Like we saw in Civilization V, there is an actual touch mode to control the whole game via touch. I think that's really interesting. So maybe game developers are taking notice of this of this market? I would hope so. I mean, there's no reason that touch, not even just the Surface, but across all laptops and all devices sh shouldn't come to the, to the Windows platform. It's, the price is down so low that it, it, doesn't, it doesn't cost that much to add it to a laptop these days, or even a desktop. So why not, why not have touch everywhere? How much do you think the Surface 4 could retail for? What, would, what, what is the perfect number? To make it a huge smash hit or to basically make it, or what Microsoft will ask for? What Microsoft, let's start with what Microsoft will ask for and then we'll talk about what we'd be willing to pay. I think Surface 4 will fundamentally not change in price. It is, it will, the conservative change will be a new CPU upgrade. It'd be awesome if you got 4K and you got better camera and all kinds of extras tacked on Awesome there. Yeah. stuff, but no, frankly, you're still looking at a $1,000 a thousand to fifteen hundred dollars, even a two at the top end, two thousand dollars, right? So, right, basically eight hundred, thirteen hundred, fifteen hundred, two thousand dollars. It's the price of a really expensive high end ultrabook. Mm. What I could see myself realistically paying, I think the iPad model is pretty spot on 600, 600 ballpark to start, and then maybe going up to twelve hundred dollars. Twelve hundred dollars for what we're talking about is basically is a tablet. 
I mean, it's a, tab it's a tablet hybrid in the sense that you have a desktop and a, and a really functional OS. Sure. Um, but you're, you're, you're just getting a tablet. Yeah, but I mean, you're really getting, I mean, you are getting the best of both worlds in a lot of ways. I know so there's some people who don't think that. I disagree with them. I think with Surface 3, they, they got everything right. The screen is the right size. It's got plenty of power to do everything you can do on your laptop. So, I mean, for me, for a lot of people who do real work, uh, an iPad, and an, even a large Android, it's not, it's not really about OS, it's about capability. Mm -hmm. Those touch interface devices with these uh, OSs that are not designed for real productivity don't work for me. So I, I, I can't see, I could see, yeah, it's worth it because I'm, I'm getting more productivity. I'm replacing my laptop, I'm replacing my $600 iPad out of it. Why don't I just buy this, you know, $1,300? The Surface is a little bit ahead of its time as this kind of tablet, PC hybrid. Um, yeah, I, I do think it was a little bit ahead of its time. Were people just not ready for it? Uh, yeah, I mean, although you, you could also argue that hardware wasn't really ready for it. I mean, I, I think it's a, it's a great concept. You know, there obviously have been sort of similar attempts in the past, but the original Surface Pro was, you know, basically a laptop and tablet that was too fat to really do either of them. It's too heavy. The battery life, I mean, you're lucky if you can get oh, five that, hours of, out of this thing. That battery life was terrible. Surface 3, you know, if they had basically waited, you know, a year and a half for the hardware to mature and they made Surface 3, like Apple does, they wait till it's ready, right? It's always ready from, from the get-go. Yeah, it was definitely ahead of its time because if they'd come out day one with Surface 3, everybody would have said, yeah, you got it. It's perfect, right? Nailed but, it. Right. But sometimes you got to go with the hardware you have, not the hardware you wish you had, right? So. Is this the general trend for, for this market of going towards this hybrid? Will all tablets eventually be a hybrid? I, you know, I don't know. I kind of expect that people are going to want more and more out of their tablets. You know, of course, the other issue with these devices, there are, there are people's fantasy worlds where they think, oh, I'm, I'm going to be at work, I'm going to be sitting at my desk with my, my tablet, you know, hybrid, I'm going to go home, I, once I get home, my Bluetooth house will sense I'm, I'm home, and then everything will transfer over and magically show up on my, you know, whatever. I think that's, that'll happen when you can get into your transporter and go home. I don't think that's ever going to happen because there's, there's a lot of physics. You know, there's a lot of use, usage case. Like for gamers, I'm sorry, mobility, mobile gaming is, is never going to, it's never going to work. I'll just say, they say never say never. I'll say never. It'll it will never, never work. take over. It will Agreed. never take over. Even if you're going to do streaming to it, but it's just not going to happen. But for the functionality of a tablet, which, I mean, let's face it, you're just checking your email and playing Angry Birds. What the hell else do you need? And the ability to edit your photo, to do Photoshop, to run, you know, full, full power office mm -hmm. on the device this light and getting lighter. I mean, yeah, that's, that's a, I can see just having this. And I can see having a real desktop at home for real, you know, for video editing and photo editing and heavy duty chores and gaming, of course. Sure, sure. But I, I, I can see this replacing I can see it replacing laptops. I can replace it, uh, see it replacing a lot of lower end tablets. Well, Gordon, let's just hope that they make a Surface 4 at this point. Yeah, let's hope so. Well, I'm Nick Pino with Tech Radar. This is Gordon Ung with Maximum PC. Let us know what you think the Surface 4 is going to be like in the comments below.